You know, boys, I used to babysit all the time when I was a teenager, you know, to make extra money because I didn't know what I wanted to become. And then Hal, my husband, swept me off my feet. I, Blue Moon was the song that was playing. You know that song, you know. Blue Moon, you saw me standing alone. Yeah. But, but I always wanted to do something with my life. You know, I had energy. I didn't just shop and lunch and attend matinees. You know, I, I held charities for poor people. And I raised money for museums and schools. With wealth comes responsibility. I didn't just mindlessly consume, you know, like so many of my so-called friends. Although I can't say I dislike buying nice things. Tip big, boys. Tip big. Because it will get you good service, but also because they depend on those tips. Someday, when you guys come into great wealth, you must remember, always be generous. And I know your mother has told you that I went crazy and started talking to myself. Well, there's only so much trauma one person can withstand before they take to the streets screaming. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, boys. I was picked up on the street talking to myself. And they gave me what's called uh, Edison's medicine. Why do they call it Edison? Well, you see, they use electricity to uh, get you to think straight. It was as if everything unraveled so quickly. I experienced anxiety and claustrophobia and this acute fear of death. <laughs> I had nightmares and a nervous breakdown. You guys must have heard of those medicines, lithium, um, Prozac. It, well, all of these drugs just made me worse. <laughs> and you know, of course, I, I think I must have suspected that not everything Hal was doing was 100% above board. I mean, Christ, you'd have to be an idiot not to think that his phenomenal success was too good to be true. But a cheat is a cheat. And when he had other women, I just flipped out. One thing led to another and... But that's all history now, boys. I've met someone. I'm a new person. <laughs>